Hey everyone, I'm coming to you from Boracay in the Philippines. Today I just wanted to give you my review on helmet diving, which if you don't know what it is, I didn't really know what it was beforehand, um, but I will show you. So basically first, there's a million um, different like stalls and people all over the beach that will try and sell you helmet diving and all kinds of other activities here. Uh, so I couldn't tell you which exact company I went with, but they're all over. Um, I paid 700 pesos for, uh, it includes the helmet diving and then also a CD with pictures and video. Um, which seems like a pretty good deal. You're only down in the water for about 15-20 minutes but which I felt actually was enough time um, so basically you go out on a boat and they take you to this like station where everything is set up and there's all people doing the helmet diving should be good it's gorgeous here absolutely gorgeous the water is super clear boats all around <laughs> it's really nice <laughs> they explain to you how to do it. They give you some hand signals just in case. I wasn't nervous kind of until they started explaining it and then I felt like I got nervous. <laughs> just got the little instructions. I'm always slightly nervous. <laughs> I've never done diving or anything. Um, but after doing it, it was fine. So basically, it's a helmet and they're pumping oxygen in through a tube and the tube is on the station up above water and you only go down uh, like 12 feet or 4 meters so it's really not that deep um, and the waters here are super calm and there are no sharks because <laughs> that's what I would have been afraid of um, but yeah so that's something you don't have to worry about they do tell you um, to be careful about having your ears like having too much pressure so you can either like swallow or like <laughs> plug your nose blood through your ears which is what I do so you'll be fine then you go underwater the helmet it's not airtight it's just like when you go down the air stays in if that makes sense so you can still like put your hand in and do this which I didn't really understand until it happened but then you're under there and it's pretty cool you just like walk around I felt kind of like I was an astronaut walking around the moon <laughs> pretty cool and there's fish and they give you like um, bread to feed the fish so they kind of swarm over <laughs> which sometimes that might freak me out but it was actually really nice and then there's the diver with us uh, down there just to make sure everything is cool and you're feeling good and uh, also to take the pictures and the video <laughs> recommend I thought it was a really cool experience and just something that I never would have done before and you know it's like when you're here <laughs> why not try something new and different before doing it I kind of wanted to like look at other pictures so I looked up on Instagram hashtag <laughs> helmet diving and I noticed that actually a lot of the other places came up um, we're all in Boracay, so I think it's something unique to hear. I've never seen it before um, And it is yeah kind of touristy, but when you actually did it It didn't feel that touristy and down under the water was there was no one else around it was just um, me and the a couple people that I was with so it was really cool and it felt uh, yeah, just really like a unique experience. I will say that here in Boracay, everyone here runs on island time and it's kind of a, you know, no one is stressed out, worried for you, which I love, <laughs> don't get me wrong. But 
like there was a mishap with the CD, just it wasn't ready in time and then took an extra day and had to go back with them and make sure we got it. Uh, but <laughs> ended up getting it after all that. So, you know, you'll end up getting stuff, but you might have to wait a little bit longer. Overall, it didn't really take away from the experience for me. By now, after a week here, I'm kind of used to uh, how things run here. <laughs> So, you know, you learn to just go with the flow. This island is super relaxing. I highly recommend if you're in the Philippines to make your way here. Hope you liked that. I hope all is well. Thanks for watching and uh, subscribe if you want to see more travel related videos from me. And follow me on all the social medias. I post there more often than I post videos so you can see more up to date what I'm doing. Alright, thanks so much for watching. Bye guys. I love libraries. <laughs> So I always like to go check them out when I'm traveling, especially if they're like old and cool.